really good album. Too bad I, you know, this one is toast, but... was running a little funny and um, we're trying to um, see why so I'm going to open it up so I'm going to set the camera up and open that up I've unplugged it make sure you always unplug things um, before you start working on them so that's unplugged um, I there's an on and off switch when you insert the tape I inserted the tape just to make sure that all the power was out of the system inside supposedly and since nothing lit up and nothing moved, we're going to assume that she's dead. So let's party and get this thing opened up. A couple of things going for it. It's an old Panasonic. I'm going to use, read the back here. This is the model serial. There's a screw. We'll start with that. We'll get this back kind of look popped off. I suspect uh, that these are just feet and that the uh, actual getting into it portion of our program is going to be from the back. So let me grab a screwdriver. Start by taking the screw out of here. All right, there we go. There's that guy. Set that aside. Put the screw down where I can get to it. You know what? These do secure it, so that's good. I mean, it's kind of got to be something holding that stupid tray in. Um, you can't see much from right now, but. This is secured to the chassis. This is actually a press board, so it's wood. Or, you know, I think you should call it stimulated wood. Pretty much it's contact paper on top of press board, but... For the time, I think it was a cheap alternative to real wood. walks or crawls away, please scream very loudly so I can hear you. Okay. Motor. We should call it a flywheel. So basically, this turns this. It's enough to work on it to move the tape head. Just locate it in there. Move the roller and pulls it past this head, I should say. Right here. And then where's the... It moves them down along the track. Uh, there's the sensor, right here is the sensor for when the tape's in, so it turns on the power. And that's about it. It's pretty simple. I mean, you know, the electronics and the, the sound and stuff. Lighting is up in the front part here. You can't really see it that well. This button is for program changes, and that moves that switch right there. This switch. This one is a repeat program button so it'll just play um, it'll either repeat the track that you're on or if you leave it out it'll continuously play through the belt isn't bad um, it could be tighter I am going to peel it off here real quick just to see I might try getting some reconditioner on it possibly needs replacement the problem is this belt 
um, is probably I don't have one like this. I'd have to order it, and that would probably that could run anywhere up to twelve bucks or better, five to twelve maybe, uh, depending. I can look it up, but that's going to be. You know, I guess it depends on if this is worth fixing or not. So I'll do a little comparison shopping and see what I can come up with. Best to use alcohol on the uh, pens. Hot uh, energy alcohol is the best stuff for that. it in, so don't do this at home. Uh, I'm not going to touch any of the components. I am going to stick it in, stick the tape in, being very careful to see. There you go. good, minus the really crappy condition of this tape, so I think we're good. Cleaning the belt helped, cleaning some of the connections and heads on it helped. Um, if I can find a tape that will actually confirm that this thing is in good working order, I'm going to try to listen. Now to put it back together. 